Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and this morning we're visiting with Whitney Farman. She's the Grayson County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources. Good morning, Whitney. Good morning. Well, I'm glad you're here today because we're going to talk about something and fencing is that. <laughs> now our pastures and, and hay fields mm -hmm. have really gone through the ringer over the yes. winter and we're gonna have to do some renovation and probably some repair. Yes, I actually was talking to some producers about this recently about how we are in the process. They want that quick fix and I said, it's gonna take a little while to do this and probably a little bit of money too, unfortunately. But we do, one of the quick things that we can do is we've got a, a fencing school in Grayson County on April the 9th mm -hmm. and I I would encourage producers in the area that are interested in learning more about just proper fencing techniques and different ways to run cross fences and how to rotationally graze and that sort of thing to attend this school. We've got a lot of sponsors and a lot of uh, interesting information at this now, will this be classroom or? It'll be both, okay. actually. So the morning session, registration starts at 7.30 Central Time, and we will get started the first Part of the day will be classroom information and then we will go out. We have a local farmer in Clarkson, Kentucky who is going to have us out for demonstration. They're going to actually set fence posts and actually do hands-on demonstration of fencing. And the classroom sessions are actually going to be taught, we're going to talk about fencing laws. We have got our local county attorney to just discuss some basics because every situation is different, mm -hmm. but they will actually give us information on those Kentucky statutes. Now the second part of that would actually be fence construction and so we have have uh, Steve Sarson who is with Beckert Fencing Company and who has been gracious enough to work with us on this and then we've also got uh, Kevin Robinson who is with True Test Electric Fencing so we'll talk about permanent and electric and temporary fencing during the classroom sessions and then from there we'll have lunch and then we'll go out and actually demonstrate the things we learned that morning. And you know a lot of times people are, are I guess maybe a little apprehensive yes. about installing a high tensile fence because yes. it is very it is expensive. it is very and you know but until you see it mm -hmm. A lot of times that's the selling point. Right, and there's a lot of different ways to go about doing it and there's a lot of different techniques. And mm -hmm. talking to these professionals that do this for a living actually help because they are going to see the day-to-day -day aspects of it and they're going to be able to explain to you this really works or mm -hmm. this doesn't work right. and here are some ways that you can go about doing that and then also we all work a lot with our soil conservation offices and our natural resources and they can do uh, programs if you're in a program there are specs that you have to follow and mm -hmm. so we're going to talk about those as well because what we may do on our farm may not be what the specs allow us to do and so we're going to talk about those differences as well and it, it can be, but this is for the beginners. This is for folks that are wanting to renovate some fencing. These are for people that are contractors of fencing that maybe want to learn some new techniques for their for their customers. And so anyone is welcome to attend this this program. And I want to ask that because you know mm -hmm. Litchfield's not that not that far from Bowling Green. Right. If there were some Warren County producers, can any producer yes. come to your event? Any producer can come to the event. I would just ask that you all call the our extension office in Grayson County and get your name on the list because the first 40 participants is who we're accepting and it is free of charge. So we've got some great sponsors, Southern States, our local cattlemen's, Sicilian Bank, some of those folks that are sponsored sponsoring the meals and sponsoring the materials along with the extension service to help put this on. So uh, we would just ask that you contact us and get on the list. All right, so, perfect. Mm -hmm. So there is not a registration fee. You would just like to RSVP so yes. you can know So we know about how much food to fix, so we know how much materials to set out and that sort of thing. Okay, so. awesome. So what is the date and the time? Of okay, your it is Tuesday, April the 9th, so after spring break in our county. I don't, <laughs> I don't know about Bowling Green, but um, in our county, we it's the week after spring break, April 9th, and it starts at I would come register 7.30 to 8 o'clock Central Time at the Extension Office, which our address is 123 Commerce Drive. If you're on the parkway, we're right there. It's right off the yes. parkway, mm -hmm. so you guys are very easy to get yes, to we are. there. Uh -huh. And the location for the demonstration will be as well. 
All right, yep. perfect. So I know a lot of people are out there, they're excited mm -hmm. about, maybe not excited about your pocketbook, <laughs> but you know, I yeah. always get excited when I go and I'm able to learn something yes. and see it work, mm -hmm. and then you're able to bring that onto your farm. And yes. I think this is a great example of a program just like that, mm -hmm. where you can learn about it, but then actually go and do and see it. Mm -hmm. So if people cannot come though, we do have information about fencing. We do, yes. The University of Kentucky has lots of resources for us to use for fencing and even the economics of fencing. So. All right, perfect. Whitney, appreciate the information. If you have questions, contact your local Extension office. Thanks for watching and have a great day. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.